Hi everyone, my name is George Zhao and I will be presenting to you guys BERTs for ICD code assignment on Mimic 3 paper that Yuaning Zhen, Chao Pu, myself, and Si Chao Jia worked on. Now as an introduction, electronic health records such as those from the Mimic Information Mart for Intensive Care 3 database employ the international classification of diseases codes to dictate diagnosis and procedures during patient encounters. Now, the MIMIC3 database contains hospital notes on about 40,000 de-identified patients. Now to annotate all of those notes would be very time consuming, considering if you were to extrapolate this to the entire nation. Now our solution is a machine learning model that can automatically classify phrases as ICD codes automatically. So uh, that, would, that would essentially be uh, to take notes that are uh, written down by uh, doctors or nurses and automatically uh, annotate uh, their diagnosis and procedures uh, ICD codes um, just automatically. Now, for our pre-processing, we pre-process Mimic 3 notes using uh, ICD-9 codes, similar to how it was done in the paper Explainable Prediction of Medical Codes from Clinical Text. Now we remove tokens with no alphabetic characters, lowercase tokens. We replace all unknown tokens with the characters U and K. Now a major difference uh, between uh, their paper and our paper is a noticeable processing speed up uh, of about 11 seconds due to the distributed nature of PySpark. Now our data includes about 9,000 unique ICD-9 codes, about 7,000 diagnosis codes, and of which 2,000 uh, are procedure codes. Now, when we train, we use about 47,000, 1,600, and 3,000 discharge summaries uh, for training, validation, and testing, respectively. Uh, the training notes have about uh, average sequence length of about 1,400, uh, max sequence length of about 10,000, meaning sequence length of about 1,300, and uh, the sequence length represents tokens delimited strictly by white spaces. Now, this will be important in later slides. So, the tools we use were PySpark. PyTorch and Google Cloud for data processing, data training and tuning, and for computational resources. Now our solution is a BERT model. It's basically a bi-directional encoded representations from Transformers model uh, developed by Google. Um, and, we, and we trained it for on the Mimic 3 notes. So BERT is basically a model that uh, analyzes text from both sides of a sentence. So from the beginning and from the end to, uh, to understand embedded words uh, in a sentence. So that essentially takes into account context, which is innovative in comparison to previous embedding approaches such as word to vec So our solution is a clinical BERT. Um, so uh, it was pre-trained on a clinical BERT and we, we basically uh, you adapt this pre-trained uh, model that, uh, from uh, the paper and GitHub uh, from below. Um, and their uh, pre-training was done yeah, similar to how the classical BERT from Google was done, basically via mass language modeling and next sentence prediction, um, but specifically for the MIMIC3 datasets. <laughs> and uh, after, um, after they had pre-trained their clinical mo BERT model, we, uh, we uh, fine-tuned that model for our multi-label classification tasks uh, of ICD-9 codes. So uh, in the, this next slides, we'll compare um, some models with the explainable prediction uh, paper, uh, specifically their one-dimensional uh, one convolutional neural network, their bi-directional gated recurrent unit, their convolutional attentional uh, for multi-label classification, uh, the CAMEL model, and their description regularized uh, CAMEL model. So their CAMEL model is the primary uh, model of interest that we will be comparing against. So our preliminary results um, for, for this paper uh, show uh, how clinical uh, BERT compares with uh, the models I, I just mentioned. Um, so, uh, the, so generally, um, the macro performs worse than the micro overall, um, but for our clinical BERTs, macro AUC performs significantly worse. Um, uh, so about point zero point five. So about it's pretty much about a guessing. Um, 
uh, but it performs on par with uh, the micro AUC. Uh, but uh, one thing to know is that macro is not typically used for multi label classification. And macro uh, highlights performance on rarer codes more so than micro. And so um, the micro AUC uh, was more of interest to us. So this, these are some further results in comparison with other metrics um, analyzed in the explainable predictions paper. So generally, our clinical BERT model performs worse than their uh, than their models. <coughs> uh, and uh, some discussion and challenges of why this is um, are to follow as such. So our challenge to begin our challenges. So. Adapting the pre-trained BERT model for a specific use case was uh, pretty tough. Um, the maximum sequence length of text for uh, just any BERT model is 512. Uh, so, so the mean text length for our notes is about 1400. So this meant a lot of text was truncated, uh, was uh, just cut off um, with no uh, logical backing, um, just basically just cut off at the end of the sentences. Um, which removed a lot of contextual information, which is very important for the BERT model to, uh, to predict on um, uh, ICD-9 codes. And secondly, the pre-trained BERT was trained on a sequence length of 128, whereas uh, our fine-tuning BERT was done for 512. So this discrepancy may make learning longer lengths difficult. So as a conclusion and our future work, uh, so generally the top 50, uh, codes um, so basically the top 50 most common codes predicted um, for uh, for just any any model for our model and for the explainable predictions paper and model performed um, better than full full codes um, basically the idea here is that um, predicting rarer codes is a, a tougher task than predicting the most common codes <coughs> and this is especially true uh, for our BERT model. Now, um, our BERT still perform worse than CAMEL and baseline models, so the results could be improved with further pre-processing and cleaning of notes. This means truncating sequence lengths to 512 or less using domain knowledge, or a better option is to split longer sequence lengths to lengths of 512 with boundary words duplicated as splits. So this idea is even recommended by the uh, producers of BERT from Google. Oh, thank you.